Hi, this is Leslie. Hope you're well. In this video, I want to talk to you about a very important and powerful signal. In fact, it's by far one of the most important signals in technical analysis. And I want to explain to you why, if this particular signal triggers this year, it could not only lead to a potential recession, but also increase the probability of a 2008 style crash in bear market, like the one you see here, or even the one back in the year 2000 with the dot com crash, or in a worst case scenario, the 1929 to 1932 Wall Street crash that you can see over here, if this signal triggers. All right, guys, so in this video, I want to talk to you about what this signal, the kiss of death, actually is, and how you can spot it on the chart, and what you need to know about it. There are some important things you need to know about this particular signal that I'm going to talk to you about. All right, guys, join me. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, this video is by far probably one of the most important videos I'm going to make this year. So pay very close attention because in this video, I'm going to teach you and explain to you one of the most powerful signals in technical analysis, and it's called the kiss of death. I'll explain to you how it works, and I'll show you if this signal triggers this year, it could increase the likelihood of a 2008-style crash like the one you see here, or the bear market like the year 2000, or even the one back in the year 1929 to 1932. Now, that's only if this signal actually triggers, which I'll explain to you in a few minutes. By the way, this bounce and rally in the stock market is something we had been anticipating now for some weeks in our member videos. Here's a clip. The upper part of this regression channel meets us at about the resistance levels I mentioned in the previous videos on the S&P. That would be approximately near, um, yeah, symmetrically, 4,140 to 4,116. I would say here, depending on how fast it can move, by the way. So I think if the S&P continues to, again, grind higher, which I think is quite likely, then resistance would be in this range, probably upper part of the resistance, probably in this region here, 4140 to 4116. These, uh, again, these purple lines on my chart, these dashed purple lines or magenta lines, are symmetrical projections of prior rallies. For example, if I do a symmetrical projection of this particular rally, then symmetrically that would meet us about here. So provided the S&P continues to remain above the support, 3,700, then I'm looking for a move into this region here. All right, guys, let's talk about now the kiss of death signal for the major markets and what it potentially means. By the way, some of you are probably thinking, well, hang on a second, aren't we already in a bear market? I mean, why even mention the probability of a bear market? I mean, isn't it obvious? that we're already in a bear market, the market's already down. As I'm sure some of you know, the market, the S&P, dropped by 20% this year from peak to trough, okay? So you're probably thinking, well, surely, if the market drops by 20%, and I'm sure you're familiar with this rule, the 20% rule, then therefore, we are in a likely bear market, right? Well, here's the thing, guys. If you watched my previous video about this, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it. I explained to you that firstly, this 20% rule is very arbitrary. Okay, it's just a number, 20%. It's an arbitrary number. Also, something much more important than that. As I showed to you in that video, the percentage returns going forward, every time the market drops by 20% from its all-time highs, here are the forward returns that you can see here. Again, I explained this to you in much more detail in that previous video, so go ahead and watch it. But guys, here's the bottom line. Here's the truth about this. The truth is that after about three months or two months from a 20% drop in the stock market, look at this. 75% of the signals are positive, which means only about a quarter or 25% are negative after two or three months. And by the way, after one year, look at this, only one third is negative because 67%, as you can see here, 67% is positive. Remember, for a bear market, you need to see negative returns, not positive returns. So as you can see here, the 20% definition of a bear market is worse than a coin toss. It's worse than flipping a coin. All right, guys, let's get back to our chart. So I want to explain to you in this video a much better and a much more powerful strategy, which is called the kiss of death. And I want to explain to you how it operates, how it works, and why, when it triggers, it increases the probability of a much more protracted and long-term bear market like the one in 2008 or the one in the year 2000 or even the one back in the 30s. Okay, so what is the signal and how does it work? Okay, so as you can see here, I'm going to show you the demonstration of this, but let me just read out to you this section. It's actually worth understanding the steps. There are three steps to this strategy. Let's go through it one by one. Firstly, what we need is a monthly close below the 21 EMA after all-time highs. It's very important. This must happen after an all-time high. Secondly, what you need is a pullback or a rally back to the monthly 21 EMA. That's called the KISS, as you can see here. Thirdly, you need to see a drop below the lowest point before the pullback bounce. That's what's called the death. Okay, guys? So you need all three steps before you can say that you have a KISS of death signal. 
So let's have a look at this on the charts above here. Okay, let me show it to you exactly how it works. So here's a demonstration. In this example, you see here price drops. So you can see price drops below the 21 monthly MA. It closes below it. By the way, you only need one bar. You only need one single bar to close below the 21 monthly EMA. And then, it's very important, this must happen after an all-time high. Now, once the price has closed below the 21 monthly EMA, then you need to wait for a pullback. You can see on this yellow arrow, you need to wait for a pullback to the 21 EMA on the monthly chart. And then, that's not enough, that's the kiss, by the way. Then you need to wait for the price to take out the low point. That's the lowest point on the chart. Actually, you can draw a line across it. It's called support. So the price then needs to roll over and then take out that lowest point on the chart, as you can see here, the support, for the kiss of death to be triggered. Okay. So when you see a pattern like this okay, on the chart, that is essentially a kiss of death. By the way, we'll have a look at some examples. I'll show you plenty of examples of this in the past and also in the current structure on the chart right now as well. By the way, this is very important. Take a look at this chart you're seeing here. You see, in this example, there was no kiss of death. Why? Well, I've written it down over here. Firstly, if price rallies and takes out prior swing high, so it takes out a prior swing high or the all-time highs, then the entire chart setup is canceled. It no longer applies, as there was no death in the kiss of death pattern. Okay, So the kiss of death was never triggered, never triggered in this example. As you can see here, the price did close below the 21 monthly EMA. Then it pulled back to the 21 EMA here, but then it continued to go higher. So if the price does not roll over, if the price does not do this, in other words, roll over and take out the prior, prior lows, okay, then there is no such thing as a kiss of death. You only have a kiss, but there's no death, as you can see here in this example. So it's very important to appreciate this because if the price continues to push higher and take out the prior all-time high or the prior swing high, then the entire chart setup is canceled and the setup no longer applies because there's no kiss of death. Let's go on and have a look at some examples here. So have a look at this. This is 2008 and I think this is by far the most beautiful example of a kiss of death pattern or a kiss of death signal. So notice in that year, in the year of the 2008 financial crisis and the big major recession and crash, notice what happened here. In that year, we had a drop and a close below the 21 monthly EMA, which occurred on that price bar you see there, okay? We had a close below the 21 monthly EMA. Then we had a pullback. We must wait for that pullback to the 21 monthly EMA on that blue line you see right there, okay? And notice what happened next. Then the price rolled over and then took out, it then took out that low, as you can see here. You can also use this low here too, if you like, but that was the low that the price made before the bounce back. That is essentially when these three steps occur, that's when you have the kiss of death, which by the way, I'll write for you on the chart. I'll call this from now on, by the way, I'll call it KOD. Okay, so whenever I say KOD, we're talking about the kiss of death, as you can see here on this chart. And you can see what happened next. Then the S&P continued to crash and roll over by about 50% from its all time highs. That was a major crash. And we had preparation for it with the kiss of death signal that you see here. Let me show you this back in the dot-com crash of the year 2000, 2001. Again, a beautiful example of this. Have a look at this. You'll see, again, the kiss of death pattern here. First of all, you had a close below the 21 monthly EMA on that price bar there. Then you had a pullback. Notice you had a pullback to the 21 monthly EMA and then a subsequent drop, okay? So the kiss of death actually was triggered after the price then took out the lowest point, as you can see there, before the bounce. And you can see what happened next. Then the price continued to drop further, much lower, by about 50% from its all-time high. Here's an example for you from the 2020 crash. This was at the beginning of the major COVID crisis. Now, you can see what happened here. As I'm sure you remember, a couple of years ago, the stock markets crashed by about 34%. Now, notice what happened at this point. Price didn't bounce, so we had a pullback. So, again, notice that the price here closed below the 21 monthly EMA. Then we had a pullback, pullback to the 21 EMA here on the monthly chart. But notice, even though there was a kiss, there was no death. Because as I'm sure you know, a kiss by itself is not enough. What you then need is for it to drop and then penetrate the bottom. That's what she said. Uh, yes, thank you, Michael. Yes, as I was saying, guys, the bottom line is that in this example, there was no kiss of death pattern. There was no kiss of death signal. Why? Because price pulled back to the 21 EMA here after it closed below it. But as you can see here, the price at no point took out the lowest point on the price bar. And remember what I mentioned, remember what I mentioned to start this video, that 
if the price then rallies and takes out the all-time high, a prior swing high, prior resistance or all-time high, then the entire chart setup is canceled. So the kiss of death pattern here no longer applies at this point. Now in the year 2015, 2016, we did get a kiss of death pattern and signal. However, unfortunately in that year, again, we had the price closing below the 21 monthly, then a pullback, and then taking out the prior low, as you can see here. But in this example, you can see it was a false signal. It was a whipsaw. And that's something important to bear in mind because as I'm sure you appreciate with any pattern, with any strategy, you're going to have false signals. You're going to have whipsaws. Again, that's something to be expected. No signal, no pattern, or no strategy out there is going to be 100% perfect. So you must be able to prepare yourself for a potential false signal or a whipsaw, which can happen. Let me show you this one. This is from the year 1987. Now, this is a good example of why the 20% rule is not a very good strategy. Again, as I explained to you, the 20% rule would have said to you at this point, well, you're in a bear market, right? Because the price had dropped by 20% from its all-time highs in 1987. So at this point, you could say, well, all right, we're in a bear market. The problem is you can see what happened after that. The price actually continued to go higher. In fact, there was capitulation here at this point. By the way, there was no kiss of death. You can see there was a drop. There was a pullback to the 21 monthly MA. Price never took out the lows that were made here. And therefore, there was no trigger. And because there was no kiss of death signal, therefore, there was no high probability bear market pattern either. Now, let me show you this one. One of my favorite years, 1969. 69. Thank you, Kevin. So as you can see here, price closed below the 21 monthly average here, then pulled back to the 21 you may, and then took out the lows, the prior lows here, and then triggered the kiss of death signal. And then we saw a substantial drop from that point, and indeed quite a significant bear market. 1966, the same thing happened here. You can see price dropped below the 21 EMA here, closed below it, then a pullback to the 21 EMA here, and then a kiss of death occurred, pushing it lower. And here's the most famous crash in history, which began with the 1929 Wall Street crash. You can see again, the pattern occurred here as well. We had a close with the 21 monthly EMA here on the Dow, then a pullback to the 21 monthly EMA. And then what happened? Then the price took out the prior low here, the support, and by taking that low out, it then triggered the kiss of death signal here, which led to a significant market crash over the next couple of years. By the way, this entire crash, this bear market was an 89% drop from its all-time highs. All right, guys, so now you've learned the simple steps for the kiss of death strategy and the pattern, plus the notes I mentioned here about when no kiss of death happens here as well. Let's now go to our chart here. This is the chart of the S&P. Let's have a look at it in a bit of detail here now. By the way, something important I want to mention here, which is that this video is not a recommendation to sell or go short or go long on the markets. All right, guys, all I'm trying to do in this video is explain to you how this pattern works, how the strategy actually operates. So I want you to understand how the signal looks, how this pattern looks on the chart and the risks involved. But what you do with this pattern is a matter for you. The trading aspect of the strategy is much more complicated and much more risky than we have time to explain here in this video. So as you can see, this is what happened to the S&P this year. By the way, before I talk about this, let me mention one more thing. It's quite important to mention this. In the years 2010 and 2011, we did have a monthly close below the 21 monthly MA. However, guys, as I'm sure you can appreciate, these were not kiss of death signals. Why? Because they were not all-time highs. As you can see here, the all-time high was here. These occurred below the all-time high, and therefore, these particular patterns, they do not apply for the KOD kiss of death signal. Let's go back to our chart here on the S&P. As you can see, after the major rally that happened here from the last couple of years, we now have had a close. Finally, we saw a close below the 21 monthly EMA, as you can see here. That happened last month, by the way, in June. Then this month, we've had a pullback. We now have had a pullback almost to the 21 monthly MA. As a matter of fact, as I'm making this video, the S&P is already up. The futures, the S&P futures are up as I'm making this video. So it's quite likely we're gonna test, we're gonna actually test this 21 monthly MA today as I'm making this video. So bottom line is I think the criteria for a kiss is met. We've had a close below the 21 monthly MA. We've had a pullback, we've had a pullback now to the 21 monthly MA. In fact, we will do by the end of today. But is there a kiss of death? So ask yourself this question. Is there a kiss of death signal or pattern on this chart? The answer is no. Well, at least not yet anyway. We shall see what happens in the next few weeks and months. But the bottom line is, guys, all the setup is not complete yet. What needs to happen to actually trigger the kiss of death pattern or signal is for the low to be taken out. The low is approximately at 3633. So just to make this very clear, we've had a close below the 21 monthly MA, as you can see here on this bar in June, 
So far, so good. Then a pullback to the 21 monthly MA this month, as you can see here. But as I said before, a kiss by itself is not enough. What we need is a kiss of death. So if now the S&P were to drop, let's say, below the low that was made here at 3,633, then the kiss of death would be signaled and triggered at that point, only if this actually plays out. So guys, it's really important to bear this in mind. At the moment, there is no kiss of death. It's only if we take out the lows that was made here, then we have a KOD, kiss of death, signal if and when the lows are taken out, which by the way, is by no means a certainty. And if the kiss of death signal gets triggered, that actually increases the probability of a much more severe and protracted bear market in the stock markets and also a potential recession as well. Let me just say a couple of things about this. First of all, the market does not owe us anything. So just remember, just because the market has completed two of the steps in our pattern, you know, it's, you know, it's broken below the 21 monthly and closed below it and then pulled back to the 21 EMA, this does not mean that it's a certainty that price is gonna go lower and trigger the kiss of death, okay? Again, the price does not have to do anything we want it to do. However, guys, watch tomorrow's members video on Sunday because I'm going to explain in more detail how likely is it, how probable is it for the kiss of death bear market pattern to happen this year or not. So I'll go into that in much more detail and the probabilities in tomorrow's members video. And also, guys, another thing I'm going to mention is this. Even if, even if the kiss of death signal was to happen, so let's say, for example, as an example, let's say the market did trigger the kiss of death and let's say the price did break below the lows that was made in June. As I'm sure you understand, this does not mean that it's a guarantee or a certainty that we're going to fall into a long-term bear market and a major market crash like in the year 2008. Remember, as the analyst Jason Geppert says, we're not dealing with absolutes in analysis. We're only dealing with probabilities. All right, guys, before I finish this video, I just want to say a couple of things. Firstly, please tell me in the comments section what you think. Let me know if you believe whether the kiss of death signal is going to happen this year or not. And the second thing I want to say is this. Make sure you watch tomorrow's members video on Sunday because in the members video tomorrow, I'm going to explain, first of all, if the kiss of death signal does trigger, what are the likely downside targets? So we'll talk more about that in tomorrow's video. Secondly, what about a low risk strategy for how a trader could go short using the kiss of death method? And three, what if the opposite happens? How will we know if a bullish signal occurs? All right, guys, so I'll talk to you more about that also in the members video tomorrow on Sunday. If you're not a member, you can join on that link you see right there. By the way, that link also gives you three months extra free, so you can go ahead and use it today. Thank you very much indeed. I look forward to seeing you in the next video update. Bye for now.